person. If I'm taking the time to section and spray and curl and pin and then cool and then spray and then all that stuff before I, I let these curls go and style it the way I want to, when I hit that door, when I dot the block, I need it to stay where I, where I left it. Period. Hi lovelies, what's up? It's Tori Chantel and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is having a fabulous day because Lord knows that I am, okay? So today I am doing a hair vendor review, okay? This hair is from Ideal Hair Arts. So if you wanna know a little bit more about it, then just stay tuned. But before we get into it, the first thing that I need you to do is to hit that subscribe button and click that little cute little notification bell. That way you are notified every time that I upload. Okay, let's grow the family. Okay, cool, let's get into it. So like I said, this hair is from Ideal Hair Arts. Um, I think I found them off of Alibaba. Um, this is not a vendor that like I typically use. The one that I actually use um, is closed down now, right now because of coronavirus. So I figured that I would try something else and try something new. So I did go on to Alibaba. Um, I did the whole shebang as far as searching and how to find the vendors. And if you would like for me to do a video on exactly like how to find vendors and what to look for when you find them, um, especially on Alibaba or Instagram or whatever, then I'm more than happy to share my tips and tricks on how I find vendors. Now, um, with this hair, I end up getting two bundles of 20, one 18 and one 16 inch closure um, because I just, I wasn't really sure about this company. So I didn't want to spend a whole ton of money. And honestly, right now, frontals are a little bit on the expensive side. Well, really all hair is kind of on the expensive side, but um, bundles and frontals and all that good stuff are kind of on the more expensive side right now. And so I just wanted something that'd be affordable and quick that I could kind of just boom, bam, thank you, ma'am, and get out of there with it. Um, I actually made this wig on a sewing machine, um, which was kind of fun. That was my first time doing it. I know how to use a sewing machine, but that was my first time doing that. Um, if you want me to do a video on that as well, I can. Um, I was a little bit rusty, I'm not gonna lie, but I did have fun making it and the productivity was way faster than sewing it by hand, even though I do prefer to sew things, well, sew my wigs by hand. Um, so before I get into it, I do have a pros con and a, si and a con side. Me personally, I like to hear bad things first and then let the good things take over it so that way it will feel better. So I think that's kind of what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, like I said, I got two 20s, an 18 and a 16 inch closure. This is a four by four closure, as you can see. I'm like giving scale. Yeah, this is a four by four closure that I bleached the knots and all that stuff myself. I kind of over bleached it a little bit, but I didn't have anything to fix it. So, and listen, if you can see, all of the imperfections you're too close anyway so let's start there but anyway let's go ahead and jump into it so like i said i like to hear the cons of things first and then kind of let the good things come through and clean it up for me so let's start there now the cons are um first of all this is not human hair like the company claims okay um they tried to argue me down about it and i'm like i'm not trying to hear it this is not human hair it's good for what it's supposed to do but it's not human hair the way that they would make it seem there are fillers in the hair um i can really see that it's like a mix um as soon as i open the package I could visibly see the fillers in the hair and I honestly was a little bit hesitant to even mess with it after that point but I was like you know what I got this new sewing machine and I'm doing something new so worst case scenario this hair will just be my teaching hair and I'll just use it you know to do whatever and just practice my craft so either way I felt like you know I, if, if I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a L but I'm gonna gracefully take a L if I was gonna take a L you know what I'm saying so 
Luckily, I didn't take too big of an L behind this hair, but I, I kind of did. Um, when I first got the packaging, I did cut off a piece of the hair from the bundle. That way I could do a burn test and that way I could do a, oh actually I cut two pieces off, I'm sorry. I cut two pieces off, that way I could do one part burn test and one part um, color test. Now I wish that I would have thought about filming that part when I first got the hair, but I didn't. Um, so that's my band, I don't have that footage for you, but I can just tell you and if you believe me, you believe me and if you don't, that's cool too. Um, I did do a burn test on the hair and like I said that's why I feel like there's a mix because it still kind of gave off the burning of human hair but it still beat it up with like as if it was a synthetic so that's why I kind of knew like okay this hair is not what what they're telling me that it is and you know that's okay I'm just gonna rock with it um I did do a color test on it as well I used um, my Paul Mitchell lightener and I use 40 volume developer I left it on for maybe like 35 minutes um, the highest level I could get to most people will tell you that's gonna be level 27 I normally don't use those terms because I think of hair color like in a professional way because I am a licensed professional so um, I'll be using both terms like interchangeably that way if you're a professional you understand what I'm saying but if you're not then you understand what I'm saying too so it ended up getting to like a level seven which if you're lifting hair especially from one like I did I really was able to get it to like maybe like a level seven um I did rinse it out dry it and then go back for a second round and even then I was able to kind of get it one more level up to a level eight but it still would look like level 27 if you just you know we're buying hair from the hair store um so yeah I didn't like that the other thing that I didn't like is that on the piece that I did the color test on I did I, I did the whole shebang with it like I treated it like it was actual hair like it was actually on a client and so I did the the lift and then I shampooed it didn't blow dry it specifically i just kind of let it air dry for a hot little second um and then i did kind of go over it with my blow dryer a little bit once i got most of the moisture out of the hair and kind of let it air dry naturally and once i put a curling iron to one like i kind of feel like that was it um and it could just been maybe i just got a bad read off of the strand test i did i personally didn't feel that way i felt like if i was going to take this hair and highlight it or ombre or do whatever else I was going to do with it it was going to just go to hell at that point so um I just took my little piece my little color piece as forewarning to just leave it alone don't color it you know just keep it jet black the way that it already came and it did come you know like a pretty I mean I mean it's not completely jet black but you know it's rocking with the 1B pretty heavy so I was pretty happy about that and I was cool with that so I wasn't going to mess with it um as far as the closure there was a little bit of shedding going on when I was uh bleaching the knots and, and getting it ready and all that kind of stuff so and then like even with the plucking was a little bit weird because I just kind of feel like I'm not saying that you have to like work hard to pluck, but it almost was like too easy to pluck. I don't, I don't know if that's making sense, but that's kind of what happened. Um, let me see. Okay. Then the other thing too, there are a bunch of short, and you can't tell because I did my thing, because you know I do what I do when I do it, but um. I could tell like even before I even opened up the bundle and I just kind of ran my hand down um, the actual bundle there were a lot of short hairs poking up if you don't know when you're testing hair one way excuse me one way that you would know if the cuticles are all smooth and aligned is you're going to take the bundles you're going to bend it in half and then you're going to kind of run your hand over the back of it and it'll kind of tell you it's going to tell you not kind of it's going to tell you um, if there are a lot of short hairs in the bundles and there were a lot of short hairs in the bundles Like I said earlier, like I could tell that there were fillers in the hair. I literally could see the, the fillers but Even once I was you know running my hand down the bundles There still were other short hairs that were popping up and I kind of was like 
okay you know what i'm saying like at that point i kind of had an idea like i knew what i was working with when i got it there was nothing i could do about it so i just said i'm gonna use this hair so i can do my thing and practice with it it is what it is you know so um okay i got my little notes here because i wanted to make sure that i got everything okay so that's all i got for the pro the cons my bad the cons so now let's talk about the pros because there are some things that i do like about this hair and i'm glad that i didn't just toss it inside and actually continue to work with the hair um one thing i did like about